It was extremely interesting because what I found was the people that got along the best, the most happily married couples, people that were dating who were very happy, actually complemented each other in the frequency spectrum. So <clears throat> if I, for example, I happen to know my chart, I'm high in the note of E, F, and F sharp, and the person I'm with has absolutely none of it <laughs> in his voice. But I'm low in A sharp, which is my birth note, which is uh, Aquarius, color purple, and, I ha and he's happened to be chock full of it. And I began to watch this as I was teaching frequency um, and watching people interact and then voice printing them, I was able to see how we feed each other frequency and our frequency patterns. So if, if you're sitting next to someone who has exactly what you need, you're low in the notice C or the color red, and you're sitting next to someone like Dean with a red shirt, that's gonna help fill in some of your frequency uh, patterns and spectrums, and we're gonna give a little workshop on the astrology, color, light, frequency, sound connection, and why we make some of the choices that we make. It's, it's really a fascinating study. When you get back to this chart, this is a new chart we've added to the program. We've taken that, that voice print you saw earlier, and we've displayed it across many octaves. And octaves are important because it's through the octaves that we're able to reach all the different layers of the body. When I want to talk to your muscle, I talk to it in about the 15 to 30 hertz range. But if I need to talk to, to you about a genetic problem on the DNA level, I can't give you a waveform that's only one or two hertz because you can't hear it and we can't accurately reproduce it, at least on the equipment that we have. So I need to give you a frequency that will subtract down to that frequency and then we can then begin to address issues that are on other layers of the body. The interesting thing for me at this point about this particular waveform is that it's also, I believe, showing us your energy fields, your emotional level, the etheric fields, the mental body, and the causal body are demonstrated here. I've done, began to do some studies in that, and what I found is that the frequencies as they appear in people's charts up in those higher levels don't correspond to physical substances like calcium or magnesium. What they're corresponding to are very specific and important dates. So for an example, one woman, I said, what does this date mean to you? It's up in her, what we call the C plus three octave, which I think is correlated to the causal body. That was the day that her baby died, for example. And she was amazed, he died 40 years ago. But that date is stored up in that C plus three octave. Um, the dates usually correspond to significant people in the person's life. That's my husband's birthday, that's the day my mother died, that's when three of my children, you know, that's their birthday, it's my best friend's birthday, that kind of thing. So this chart is also not only giving us a look at what's happening to you on the physical layer, it's also giving us a look at what's happening to you um, on the emotional level and on the etheric level. One of the really neat things that our program does, and I'll, I'll get into right now, is the reverse speech processing. And what we're looking at as we listen to your voice before we analyze it into a FFT plot, which we can measure the waveforms, we listen to it in reverse speech. Because we believe that the right brain is mirroring your unconscious, subconscious messages over left brain speech. So the, the program gives us this capability. And in my own research, I'm always looking for the unconscious, subconscious of the person to lead me in the direction that we need to go in frequency work to help them get better. MS patients, for me, are always um, a good example of that. I'm always trying to, to come up with what's happening um, to cause their MS since we don't have a really good physical problem. Uh, it's a, it seems to be up in the emotional layers of the body and of the energy fields. So by listening to reverse speech patterns, we're beginning to um, formulate uh, and get some information from the right brain about what's going on in the unconscious. And I'm hoping someday for the unconscious to tell me what we need to do to help that person get better. You know, what they need to do. We did some reverse speech processing last night on me, <laughs> which was, <laughs> Which was really funny. What mm -hmm. I, I kept saying in reverse speech, clear I, mean. I need it, I need it, I need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> and what I was asking the computer to tell me about was a hormonal imbalance I think I'm having, and I wanted it to show me hormone levels, and actually pointed to, to problems in the hypothalamus at luteinizing hormone. But in reverse speech, I was saying, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. And I said it just like that, clear as a bell in reverse speech. I said, well, I guess we won't look at frequency. I think I need it. <laughs>